Good morning, everyone. G Level 7 here, and th th today this is Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire IS. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some wonder trading. And this is something I have been preparing for for almost nine months. Well, that's the time when I hatched all of my Pokemon. And I couldn't seem to find the right opportunity to do it, but I decided I wanted to do it like very soon. As soon as I hit about like 50 subs around that amount and I decided, oh, why not? Let's make a special out of this. So this is a box of Trickerator right there. All of them are at Mad Nature. And I recall hatching all 30 of those eggs at in the middle of October 2014. That was from Pokemon X and Y. I did it on X and Y and I transferred to the um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But yes, all of them at Mad Nature. You are wondering, why are you making an at Mad Nature Chikorita? It's no support. The Pokemon has no support set and other stuff. Well, that was back in 2010 when I played Pokemon Hard Gold and Soul Silver. And... <clears throat> The first thing that came to my mind was the chicory that I just picked up from from Professor Elm. And it was Adman Nature with 31 attack IVs. And I was like, whoa, I can run a physical set effectively, can I? I mean, for in-game purposes, there are Razor Leaf, Body Slam, Earthquake, Iron Tail. Um, what else? I guess that's about it. I mean, it's... It's physical move pool is not that great, but that's enough to cover some stuff. <clears throat> so hopefully during this session, if everything goes well, that means our internet connection is amazing. And we'll be able to find every single trade partner without having to have some sort of delays. We should be able to get this done within, I, I guess we can say, 45 minutes to an hour. So hopefully we can finish around that time. Without further ado, we're going to start trading. So, of course, we're going to start a wonder trade. So, I'd like to say thank you for your support. I mean, yeah, it, it takes about two years to get that far. But, hey, I'm happy about it. It's already happening. It's just a little bit hard to find... The things you want to plan for when you achieve some sort of milestone you just wanted to thank them in some way instead of just saying some words or other stuff oh and by the way I'm gonna cover the touch screen because I don't want to show the uh, profile in like which for example like which country they're from or something like that I'm not gonna show any of that I mean, of course, the name will pop up on the top screen, but at least the country is not identified. Anyways, we're sending, sending our first Chikorita. Fun part about Wonder Trade is you don't know which Pokemon you're really going to get. You might get, like, very bad ones, and you could get amazing ones. Yeah, the trading process usually takes maybe about like a minute or a uh, minute or two. But if I can make some amazing micro, oh, that's lonely nature. That's not bad. If I can do some amazing micro and stuff, then we won't have to spend extra seconds there. Oh, in um, my first few episodes of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke is still underway of uploading. The reason I put my first two videos on private is because I haven't uploaded the rest of my sessions, so I don't want to make it public at the moment. But maybe after I'm done with this um, special here, then I'm going to hop into my computer and just upload stuff. 
Actually, no, I can't. I can't multitask. Uh, if I upload something from my iPad, then the thing that I'm trying to upload from my computer might be paused. So that's not a good thing to do. Oh, we got duplicate zigzag good. Not bad. <laughs> It's actually pretty good for Zigzag Goon because it has a pickup. It's abilities pickup, so it might be able to pick up some amazing items. And when Light Noon gets to be level 100, it used to pick up amazing TMs like TM26, Leftovers, Max Revive, etc. I'm guessing um, TM26 is off the list because it's a permanent TM which you can use unlimited times, so. Sadly, Light Noon can no longer collect TMs because it's unlimited. It's like it's been tattooed on the bag. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm hoping for a, li a little bit better. A worm pull. Okay. That's actually okay because it's final form. Either uh, Dust Talks or Beauty Flight, they both have Quiver Dance. It's a pretty good setup move. Actually, I don't know, I don't know if Beauty Flight has... Quiver Dance, probably not. Maybe it's just Dust Talks. <sighs> oh well. Nothing's the best over there. <laughs> Actually, the sad part is, I don't know. It's like a 50-50 chance. I really don't know if it's going to evolve into a Silcoon or Cascoon. And then it's going to completely screw up my... Abilities to try an EV train and having perfect IVs and stuff. Too many factors affecting whether I can get one of those two. <clears throat> and suddenly I just don't care anymore. Alright, so this is our fourth chick reader. We're seven minutes on the clock. It looks like I'm pretty slow. I hope this isn't the case. Whoa, Heracross, that is nice. And you caught it with an Ultra Ball. Looks like you have some difficulty there. I believe you can encounter Heracross in a Safari Zone, but you used to be limited to um, Safari Balls, but looks like... Looks like you can use any kind of Pokeball you like, and the worst part is... Well, actually, the one that's bad for the Safari Zone is... You can attack Pokemon in the Safari Zone. Impish Nature. Oh, okay. I'm actually curious as to where... To where he got the Heracross here. It is Safari Zone, yeah. Alright, so... Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> um, Communication Field. Please. We need, we need, I said, if the internet can be amazing, we'll be able to finish this very soon. Let's kind of try, let's try again. I mean, this is not Wonder Trade Wednesday. This is, this is like any other day of the week. So if the internet got stuck on Sunday as well, then we got two days to worry about. We got Wednesday to worry about, and Sunday to worry about. So yeah, after I send all 30 of my Chikoritos, my final words would be, enjoy your Adman nature. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy a um, nature that you normally wouldn't see on a competitive Pokemon. <laughs> oh, it's a Noibat, how nice. I'll be able to raise it to a... Very fast Noiburn. I actually have a Noibat from a Wonder Trade from Pokemon X and Y. When I was bored at one point and I just want to get rid of my Pokemon and then I suddenly find something very, very good. Alright, so. So far, I got five Pokemon there. Oh, it's Timid Nature again! That's my second Noibat. Of course, I have to go to the stats judge and see which IVs are placed into because I remember last time its IVs were placed into everything except for attack. It's like it has max IVs on HP, 
defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. My first Noivern, it has the movesets of Dragon Pulse, Air, Air Slash, Boom Burst, and Flamethrower. I don't think there's other coverage moves that I haven't placed on Noivern, but if I find some interesting combos, then I'll probably use it on my second uh, second Noivat. And for those who think you can get away with giving um, very bad Pokemon like Weedle and stuff, actually it's on the contrary because Beedrill has a Mega Evolution. So having a Weedle is not a total loss. I already EV trained my Beedrill, so it's gonna take a while to reach level 50. Oh, it's Bashful Nature. Oh, not. That's not bad. I mean, it's neutral nature, and it's probably hatched from an egg, too. <clears throat> Anyways, we finished the first row. We're on the second row on the, on the Wonder Trade. It's going to take a while. And the top screen, the, the way I position my top screen is still intact. It'll take a few seconds, I kind of understand. Actually, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to trade the first half, that is my first 15 Trick Ritos, upload it first. And then after that, during when they upload, I'm going to record my second half, that is Trick Ritos number 16 through 30. Oh, we got Dratini, how nice. I doubt it's going to be extreme speed with multi-scale. Actually, Dratini does not have multi-skill, it has Mar Marvel skill as its hidden ability. And then it'll keep it that way until it evolves into Dragonite, where Dragonite's like one of the few Pokemon... One of the few Pokemon with multi-skill along with Lugia. Anyways... Yeah, it is Marvel skill! With extreme speed! That's perfect! I just hope it's IVs are maximum on everything except for special attack. Oh, I can run a competitive Dragonite right now. This is amazing. Okay, I better, I better be careful not to trade away my Dratini by mistake. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been sad. Wow, I just have another, I just have another Pokemon to EV train with. First Deonce, now Dratini. Yeah, I postponed the EV train for quite a while. I have to go to Meteor Falls instead. My initial plan was to go to Route 119 and uh, use Sweet Scent, and then we encounter Oddish. And we'll just <clears throat> defeat them with Petal Blizzard or some sort. But now I want to focus on Speed first, then Special Attack. So I'm going to send those two in. A Flabebe, okay. Haven't been training several of fairy type Pokemon yet. I feel like it should be fairy and grass. Oh, but Whims Whimsicott already got that, okay. Yeah, looks like. Looks like we're spending too much time. It's like. I thought it's gonna take a few minutes to do that. Mm, that looks like it's been caught in the wild. Level 13, level 7 Fly Baby. I think it's caught um, after Lumino City. Where you step on those. Um, actually, it's part grass and part flowers. Like there's red, blue, white, and yellow. And that's the Fly, fly Baby you're going to encounter. It's probably the only roots that you can encounter for a baby because of the flower. All the other root, all the other roots are just a regular patch of grass. Anyways, we got a zigzagoon again, triple zigzagoon. <laughs> all of them pick up ability, I assume. <laughs> I seem to like so many different kinds of Pokemon. It all has a purpose. 
Let me check my zigzag goons. My first one has pickup. Gluttony, is it um a fourth generation ability or is it a hidden ability? I'm not I'm not sure. No, okay, it has pickup and runaway. Okay, gluttony must be its hidden ability. So yeah, we got two pickup zigzag goons. <clears throat> We're gonna have a full party of line noons, level 100 line noons that can pick up six items. <laughs> One one percent chance of picking up a leftovers. Oh, your line room picked it up. Congratulations. <clears throat> yeah, if for some far fetched um, chance that I'll be able to get a second or a third leftovers, my heart would have been pounded with joy. It's be it's because it can only I can only get like one leftovers per game, and all the other leftovers have to be traded from another game. Oh, we got a Snubble. Okay, the fairy type. Physical fairy type Pokemon. How nice. Ash sent out Snubble. Does he... Does he... Does he own one in the... In the show? I don't remember. <clears throat> Alright, um, Chikorita number 11. Oh, Bashful Nature. Calm, Bite, Lick, and Headbutt. Headbutt used to be Stab, but it didn't get retyped, uh, retyped to Fairy, um, which is okay. I could separate this into two parts, or I can make this one gigantic session. It'll be uploading a 45 minute video or an hour video and the rendering time might depend so I feel like I wanted to separate them so <clears throat> so that uh, I'll be able to watch my own video and see if everything goes well because if not I really don't want to delete the entire video just because some rendering messed up or other issues as a Vino Vino Moth, do you have Quiver Dance and Baton Pass? Because it'll be nice if you do. <laughs> it's like I'm asking for too much. I'm really asking for too much. I'm too greedy. I have to find a way to make that happen myself. Okay. Chikorita number 12, Impish Nature. Okay, that actually puts me off from EV training. <laughs> I mean, yeah, even with Quiver Dance, it's gonna put me off from EV training because its stats are reduced by 10%. Maybe some point in the future, if we hit like maybe 100 or 150. Subs, they might do a wonder trade again because it's it's very fun to see which Pokemon you're trying to get, and it won't be Chikorita, it'll probably be like a box full of Piplups instead. And I don't know which nature it's going to be, so for Piplup, I don't have a preferred nature that I wanted to have, but for Chikorita, on the other hand, <clears throat> it was an Abman nature. Actually, I might have a preferred nature for Piplup. It's probably going to be careful nature because of the memories that I that I remember from back in Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke challenges that I participated. <clears throat> like, I got two careful natured Piplups. One back in 2013 and one most recent. Well, it's not the most recent. It's, like, back in March 2015. I was thinking, hey, let's have fun again. Oh, hasty nature, how nice. Um, yeah, so it's some sort of deja vu. And so I got pissed off so much, and somewhere in my mind, it was like, okay, let's get a box full of Piplups with careful nature. Let's, let's, make, let's make everyone mad as well. <laughs> it's the curse of the RNG, where they want to give you a nature which is against 
what you're about to hold for, which is okay for Nuzlocke challenge. I mean, you know, you want to add a little bit more challenge by reducing your um, particular stat by 10%. So it makes me feel like, oh, I'm short of an Oko. Oh, an Ice Beam may not be able to Oko Garchomp. I might be in trouble, all sorts of stuff. Ooh, we got Sableye. That can Mega Evolve. But it all depends on the movesets that it has. <clears throat> I mean, regardless of the ability or hidden ability, once it Mega Evolves, it gets Magic Bounce. So no Prankster shenanigans anymore. Alright, so let's find out what that Sable like. Oh, it's Kina, yeah, that's a normal. Like some sort of in game Sableye, which I can use that to Mega Evolve. And my other Sableye that has Prankster, I'm gonna keep it as is. Anyways, Chikorita number 14. So let's see, I wake up at 4 o'clock. The time zone is different for each, each people. <clears throat> I think the UK might, the UK's time zone would be probably around the evening or afternoon. It could be three. It could be three p.m. or twelve p.m. Anyways, what we're we gonna get this time? A Volbeat. This might be very good if it has Prankster Volbeat. I'm gonna train up to maybe about level thir level thirty-seven or level forty. <clears throat> And have Baton Pass and Tail Glow. And I wonder why it's been caught with the Master Ball. It's not like it's a very hard Pokemon to catch unless... Unless there's a... A hacker of some sort that has unlimited Master Ball. Illuminate. Uh, Illuminate uh, and that's, that's a normal ability. Yeah, that's a normal ability. Okay. Triggerita number 15. After that, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back. Because there are 22 minutes on the clock. If I were to judge every Pokemon that I receive from Wonder Trade, I must be one crazy man. I'll be I'll be too much of a criticizer said, Oh, I'm making a big deal of getting this Pokemon in some sort. Yay, another Wurmple. <clears throat> now we have a trainer named Bruno, the fighting type Elite Four. Who's giving us bug Pokemon? Anyways, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 